Nashville City is the place to be. Everyone there's just waiting for me. Yeah, Nashville, Nashville, Tennessee. Gonna buy me a ticket, get on the plane. That's, pre-reg. That's, That's the pre reg line. It's outside the door now. Yeah, Nashville. Nashville. So awesome. Right. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm um, Georgia based, so I've never been here, so I'm excited. Oh. A lot of my friends are here this weekend, so I figure we're all just going to party and hang out and cosplay. Honestly, I've been here for three years now. I wouldn't even be wearing this cosplay if it wasn't for him. He got me into this series, got me into cosplay, a lot of my anime interests, everything, which led me to get other people into it. So it all started from with you. <laughs> So okay. when I got there, someone had streamed and was running to me, and I was like, okay. And I, we got, got a hug, and it, so it was a good experience. Good experience. Very yeah. homey? Very homey. Yeah, pretty much everyone. Everyone. You know everybody. Yeah, if you, if you, if you go, come one year and you meet someone, they're going to meet someone, and they're going to meet someone, and they're going to meet someone. It's like a domino effect. Yeah, I've got Nashville on the brain. Yeah, Nashville. Nashville, Tennessee, yeah, 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 Nashville, 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 Tennessee, see, see, yeah, Nashville, Nashville, Tennessee, oh, yeah, Nashville, Nashville, Tennessee, gonna buy myself an old guitar and play me a How book. did I get into cosplay? Well... I started attending cons before I got into cosplay, with one of my first being Otakon back in 2010 was my first. And I was really impressed by a lot of the costumes I saw, but it was just wandering around the convention center with friends when I saw like this amazing cosplay and I had to figure out who it was and all that. And I never got to find out who the cosplayer was until the next year when I did, like, my first big cosplay, which was Garen, uh, Mighty Damasia from Lee. And I came to find out, when I ran into her, it was Yaya. And so, like, one of my first big inspirations for cosplay was her. And so, she's continued to serve as an inspiration of what you can do as far as her, her sewing skills are amazing. And since then, you know, Kamui's been a big in, uh, inspiration. Everybody down to, like, some of my best friends who helped me out, like... My cosplay partner, Stephanie, she did all of my stuff for this costume that I did now, and it's, everybody is inspiring me to continue my work now, especially the haters. Wait, especially the haters? Yeah, the haters. Haters fuel me. Because I'm one of those people who you insult me and I want to prove you wrong. Because that was, from design to finish was, you know, four, five, three, four weeks. Uh, go from start to finish, and when I first started it, those the Vi gauntlets that I made for my Guy Vi cosplay took about six months to do because really? we had to start from scratch, and it was really challenging but a lot of fun to go through the different prototypes and figuring out how to do animatronics in the hand and stuff, and then I had to learn how to do LED wiring and. I got to, I got to learn about resistors and stuff like that, and I had never dabbled into electrical engineering in any of my classes at school, so it was a lot of fun to learn new things. So it's, cosplay can be educational. It can teach you skills that you can use in your regular life because, oh, I got a rip in my pants. I have a sewing machine because I'm a cosplayer, when you normally wouldn't have one unless you're in that line of work, so. And, so, fun. You can learn some skills. You meet people. That's another thing, and I enjoy traveling. Like, I love going all over the country for cons. And I love eating at the place I go. That's what I'm just into the blue. Then out of the blue. It's the biggest part of this is getting the bow right. Because I am incompetent when it comes to doing bows. And I want to get like an actual pair that are really, really good that have the replaceable thongs. Because mm -hmm. I want to have thongs that match the uh, mm. costume. Invader alert! What? Also, Bobby, 
art book I found in the, in the other uh, dealer room from a series I haven't seen much from in a while. And a K-pop CD. The Zippy will be like, oh, you got a K-pop CD for me? Nope. Nope, it's mine. It is my CD. Heading to the show floor. So, Mage TV, what is it? Uh, mm. A labor of love. Because personally, I think that this stuff is cool. Now, I don't have the talent for this stuff. These guys put the blood, sweat, and tears, put the effort into it. And whether it's whether it's made at home, bought online, borrowed, or somebody slaps them in the head and takes it, they're cosplaying that character. That's why I have folks introduce themselves as their character, not real names. Because a lot of folks are more themselves in cosplay than in their everyday, you know, work, work modes. Look at all these folks, man. What are you doing today? What, what are you doing today? Okay, today, we're shooting our second cosplay happy video. You know, we're shooting a happy video, steady cam with a subject in the strain of, um, in happy. The strain of happy, but with a cosplay um, focus. We even, did a, we even did a different lyrics to the song. Well, okay, now that you're in <laughs> now that you uh, tell me, how did you decide to actually do this version of Prince? I um, I'm in a Lelouch costume and it sucks. So uh, everybody kept calling me Prince while I was that. So I figured I might as well just be Prince. Gosh, I get a great reaction. People are mostly spouting and got uh, close to the show. And uh, yeah, I get to go basketballs at people. It's great. I built the hood and I left the liner open in the back and I built a helmet with wire and I sandwiched the wire in between like scraps of Wonderflex and Warbla and I just kept heating it and putting it on my head and adding scraps and putting it on my head and adding scraps until it became like a helmet. Can so I... that way, yeah. And I can bend them how I want. And wow. they bounce when I walk. <laughs> energy? The energy level is awesome. I mean there's a lot of people. There's a lot of costumes, a lot of people. It's a little crowded, but uh, it's, got, it's got a great energy crowd. I love it. I used to cosplay by myself like all the time, but I had never been to a convention before. And now coming here, I see all these people share a passion that I do as well. And there's so many that look so wonderful and so great. Yeah. So you can tell there's a lot of hard work that goes into a lot of these cosplays. I've always liked Lumpy Space Princess. She's always been, you know, my favorite character on Adventure. And every convention I'd gone to, all I'd seen was like a chunky girl in a wig and a dress. And I was like, you know, if you're gonna cosplay, cosplay. If you're gonna do it, do it. Uh, underneath this, it's an Angry Bird costume. You've all seen him at Halloween. Cut it in half, wrapped it in purple fabric, stitched it back together, started sewing the headpiece, and then just started, you know, adding Adding my long. That's all duct tape. Like that's duct tape. Yeah, like I actually cut out every one of those squares individually. Yeah, like the, the tape on the sides. It looked a lot better when I originally did it. But it's actually kind of you know, it's kind of like you know when you move around, it kind of falls apart a little bit. So. And I was just sitting there, and this guy, this big, huge, big guy, really tall, was just staring at me, and I'm like, oh yeah, this is really weird. And his friend kind of looks at him, and looks at me, and it was a girl. She walks up to me, and is like, I'm sorry, he's too embarrassed. Can you take a picture with you? And he walks up, just all. It was so sweet. I'm not from here. I'm from Hopkinsville, Kentucky. Okay. We don't do a lot of cosplay up there. So it's really nice to get here once a year. So how do your family feel about you cosplay? They love it. They love I, it? My job loves it. Your job loves it? Yes. They actually, I cosplay at work during kids' clinics. I work at Lowe's. Okay. And I dress as Toy Story characters and they have a special theme. So they enjoy my costuming. So pretty cool. <laughs> well, no, this is great because you're in my first book and here you are later and now you have two kids now. Yes. So cute. So what are the names? The oldest one, that's Leon, and the youngest one is Logan. And yes, that is a video game name and a comic book name. <laughs> <laughs> so I noticed it says yes. right here, Nashville Geek Life. Yes. So tell me, you're the one who actually started this, yes. right? So I tell know. me about this Nashville Geek Life thing. So Nashville Geek Life is a project we started last year. Um, it's basically an all-encompassing way to figure out where everything is and where it's going on. Um, geek culture, it's fantastic, it's really busy, but it's really segmented, so how do you bring that all together? So we started this website uh, to create basically 
basically a global calendar of events going on in the Nashville area, and we've also, in the last year, expanded to states that were Tennessee. Um, and so we just do awareness to uh, articles, press releases, uh, event calendars, events. So that's how that worked. You know what? I forgot. It's been so Eight, long. Nine. Ten fingers! Woohoo! Yay! Um, it is challenging. Man, I miss how I re didn't realize how much stuff I did with my time before <laughs> I started cosplaying. <laughs> <laughs> like, I look at my game library, I'm like, I haven't beaten none of y'all. Oh my gosh, I have a game that I got a couple of weeks ago, and it's. I can't touch this until after end tag. When we have time. Oh, I have time to remake them now because that costume is almost done. Yeah. There's so much stuff I want to make. It's like, I can't make it. We've been in cosplay hell for that costume for freaking five months. Oh, yeah, cut that one too. Well, just pull it out. It's a little wrinkly. Really? I don't like my wings, saggy. Yeah, repairs. Repair stuff. Stuff. Includes tape, hot glue gun, hot glue gun. a plethora of hog glue sticks and then of course fray chair because oh and we normally keep the um oh shit, the locked eye on in there you guys are prepared yes for me personally i love it and appreciate it when a cosplayer actually watches and is a fan of what they watch. I mean, yes, it's great, it's pretty and stuff, and when people want to make something, that's great and all, and, you know, you get inspired by just looking at art, but when you get to have that conversation of that cosplayer's wearing that obscure outfit from that one episode, you know they watched it, and then you can discuss it and fangirl or fanboy out over it, That that's what I love. <laughs> Young. Did you get in line to see him already? We haven't yet. We haven't yet. We're working our way up there. His line is long. I know. It's, it's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> and do you still have it? I do still have it. It was a terrible Winry Rockbell from Full Metal Alchemist. It was a costume closet cosplay. And I've learned since then. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's $8 dollars <laughs> <young. laughs> no. This is Magnolia Broadcast. This is regular Brock. Oh, you did lining on it? Yeah. If you do lining, shit works this, out. This is Kona. <laughs> this is Kona Cotton. This is the eight dollars a yard. Cotton. Yeah, yeah. Satine's eight dollars a yard. That's what my pants yeah. are getting made out of. Yeah, because it's like when you do lining, you can end up with really cool effects because the white is but now has a slight tinge of the blue that the rest of yeah, the costume is. Nobody lines is. their stuff anymore, man. Everybody goes without lining, and you can't do certain costumes without lining. It mm -hmm. just doesn't work. I think Amy learned that one the hard way. Turns off and on. I love the idea of it. Did you come up with it yourself or was it like fan art? Oh, I came up with it myself. I was just sitting at home out playing Assassin's Creed. I'm like, Assassin's Creed TARDIS, there you go. That is great. And I don't have to explain that cosplay comes out of everything that I can bring apart and turn into something different.
seeing the people you know, catching up with people who are your con family. Anyway, that's one of the great things about small cons, especially when you know everybody from the area. It's just, it's great. I mean, even if the con itself is proving to be disappointing, that can be the saving grace of a convention. And that will make you come back time and time again. the Egg Juggling Championships of MTAC. <laughs> this is a lot harder than it seems to juggle stuff.